everybody, I'm Katrina Kaif, and I'd like to wish everyone who is watching the show a very, very happy Diwali. So with me today, I have somebody who I think you could say, if this person was in your house this Diwali, you would say this was the best Diwali present ever. So with me is my dear friend, I call him Rakesh Ji, but he does not like that. So what should I call you on the show? Rakesh, Rocky. Rocky, okay. So we're going to call him Rocky. I'm happy with that. That works for me. Yeah. And um, I don't like nicknames, so you can just call me Katrina. What's your name for Shakespeare? How does it matter? Hmm? What's yes, in what's, in name, what's in a name? What's in a name? How does it for me, for me, it matters, though. I, I, when, when people chop up my name, I really feel, please don't do that. The most common one is cat. I hate being called cat. But you have a short story, not like uh, me. Oh. Rakesh Jhun Jhun Nuala. That's, a, that's so a tricky one. <laughs> called Katrina Kaif. It actually is. It's yes, easier yeah. to say. That's why, that's why I actually refer to you as Rakesh Ji rather than the whole name because it's, just, it's a shorter one. So nice of you. And so it's great meeting you, Katrina. That's what great Diwali mean show. You? What does Diwali mean to you? You know, for, the, for quite a few years now, I think I've been very fortunate that the friends and the, and the circle in which the I, I move in, we, we always celebrate, I think, all of the main traditions. So whether it's Diwali, whether it's Eid, whether it's Christmas. So I think it's, it's a, it's a, it's, I'm fortunate to take part in the blessings of all of these amazing traditions. Of course, uh, this one, the one that's upon us now is Diwali. For me, that's just light. For me, it's happiness, it's joy. Um, it's freshness, it's a time to start again, it's blessings, and I think it's the most beautiful time of the year. Yeah, really? And how do you like Mumbai? One, it's the most amazing place in the world. I think it's... And you're the, very well traveled. Yes, I, I've traveled a lot. My mom, um, due to her um, charitable work, she's uh, always moved around a lot, especially in places where, you know, they were more, less fortunate. Um, People, but I think she's she's imbibed in us a sense that um, the world the world is one, and it's not about countries, it's not about cities. The world is, as you, as you say, the division. world is your oyster. And um, I think I've I can I can feel, and I I always felt that I was I am at home wherever I am. But Mumbai is the best city in the world. I think that's I think you'll agree with me on that one. Mumbai, Amchi Mumbai, it's. I can't live without Bombay. And home is where the heart is. That is true, also. And uh, you know, when what when we were a child, let me go to you. You know, what were your ambitions, your fantasies, your dreams, and they must have kept changing as you grew up. Yes, that's uh, you said that very right. So when when I was younger, my first ambition, which I remember, was to be a stunts woman. Um, I was very determined that I was going to be a stunt woman, and I know that the type of stunt as well. It wasn't just a random stunt woman. I was going to be a horse rider. I was going to be a female stunt woman. The, the people who ride horses. Today, if you put me on a horse, I won't. I, I I wouldn't do it. I'm just too afraid. It just scares me. But when I was young, I guess that I, that's what happens, right? When you're young, you're fearless, and nothing scares you. And as you go older, then that's when all the fears creep up and the fears start. So that, uh, that was one of my first ambitions. Um, then I do remember having another dream, and that was that I wanted to be a NASA scientist. These are the two ones which are clear. I must have had a lot, a lot more, but these are the two ones which were very, very clear and very specific you memories love the, for me. You love the universe and the... So, and, uh, but I think, I, think and the, the I think the common factor in both of them is I wanted to be something unique. Right. You know, I think that if I had to analyze it, it was something... Both of them are very unique jobs. Absolutely. Now that's it's safe to say I, I did not become a NASA scientist, but I mean you never know. Never when did you it. realize that you are a stunner of a look? Or you are, you were, and you will be. But when did you realize? Because you know that personality does not come by you wishing it; it comes from God's. So when did you first feel that you have a personality which appeals to people, and how did you react to it? Um. And I don't I, mean only in looks. I mean otherwise. You're, you're energy. talking about yeah, just the the general way people yeah. react to you. I think probably when I, um, when I, the, the main place where I felt, let, let's use the word accepted, where I felt that people um, really noticed and were giving me, a, a, you know, a really uh, amazing feedback was, was when I was probably in, did most of my shows. So um, uh, w when I started modeling here, I did show for two years I just did shows. A lot of people don't remember that because they kind of remember you from Sarkar or from Mene Pyar Kyungkya, which released in that year. But before that, I, was, I did probably, I would say, probably close to 600 shows in two years. 
really? I think. Yeah, I, I would think so. I mean, maybe more or less, but almost every day we would travel. I would travel. I was I was doing shows, traveling around, up and down, getting on a plane. Sometimes the wrong plane, but I I, I loved it. It was great and. And you know, being in a film studio, a it's a little show. bit more. It's a live show. Being in a film studio, it's more. It's more. So um, do you go close. and see some of your films in the theater? The only the only time I went to a theater, I went to. I'll tell you what. When, when I I went to Chandan to watch uh, to watch Kal, which was the Dharma film. Which you know that? Do you remember the film? It was right. it was like a horror film with yeah. Ajay Devgan, right, Isha yeah, yeah. Don't ask me why. I don't know what I was doing going to Chandan, but I went to Chandan to watch that film. That's the last time I went to just watch a film uh, in the cinema. But for to see my own, something of my own, the first and only time I did that was uh, Tismar Khan, where uh, the, that film had a song, uh, which I don't know if you saw, called Sheila Ki Javani, which became very oh, popular that year. Even other songs, you had two great, one is Sheila Ki Javani, one is... The one was in a film called Agni Pat, uh, which, which was Chikni Chameli. Yeah. That came, I think, the year, two years later. So what do you feel after Chikni Chameli, when you go, everybody will be shouting, Chikni Chameli, Chikni Chameli, how do you feel, how do you react? I think that actresses uh, are very, very often known by their songs. You know, even I, 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 even when I read an article today about, say, Madhuri Ji, she's done so many films, but you know, if, when you read, that especially song. in the smaller papers, you know, they will, or the, you know, the, the Hindi papers, not maybe not, you know, the Mumbai Mirror, but they'll always refer to, or they'll, they'll put this commonly or fondly used term of the name of a song before her name, or before yeah. most actresses' name. And, and for me, also, I believe that music is very, very powerful. It, it's, a, it's a connector of emotions. Um, I think it, uh, it conveys emotions, it can make people feel, I think, almost more right. than words sometimes. So when you came and you initiated your career, you must have felt many challenges, uncertainties, doubts, successes, failures. How did you react to them? And how did you, you know, what allowed you to overcome those challenges? I wasn't you know? afraid of anything. And that's, that's what I always uh, find uh, I feel that we forget how we used to be, and because our journey is so hectic, right. I, I, I feel we forget things somehow. Like me and you were discussing this a little while ago, where you said that when you first came to, uh, to work as a trader in Mumbai, you came with 500 rupees, is that correct? 5,000. 5,000, sorry. So you came with 5,000 rupees, and that's what you came to Mumbai to well, trade with. Well, let's pick a fun so you, I, I bet if you had to say, you would probably had less fear then than you do now. And now you must have, you know, many, many zeros after the 5,000. But you, I think it's the fearlessness with which you come, uh, with which you approach your work. And that's, I think, a big part in what gives you the success that you get. But tell me one thing, Katrina. You achieve so much in life. You know, being a star is so difficult. Hard work, lights on you, you know, makeup, hard, you know, travel here, there. What motivates you to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning and rush? And you know, Reshma calling, come on, Katrina, come on. So, what motivates you still? Maybe when you were young, you wanted some wealth, you have it. What <laughs> motivates you to put in maybe at 8 o'clock in the morning and 5 o'clock in the night? Hmm. What motivates you to put that hard work? And I got to work, and I got to be. So I will, I will answer that question. But first, first, what motivates you? A sense of achievement. I deal with the stock markets. The stock markets are uncertain. Is the difference of opinion which makes the stock market interesting? And there are whenever there is a buy in the stock market, there is a seller, hmm. right? See, wealth isn't going to mean much to me more, right? But what gives me the thrill is of being proved right. Hmm. And if I use the wrong methods in being proved right, I don't get a thrill. Hmm. I get a thrill by reading, by understanding what's publicly available. And then being proved right is far more, and I live for a sense of achievement. Hmm. My sense of achievement is fair means, being right. And also one thing now which motivates me is, it's not that I have achieved all my financial aims. I want to buy a private plane. <laughs> I want to be very, but I'm a frugal man. And I also want to do a lot of charity. 
Well, can I can I give you a bit of financial advice then? Since, please. Since everyone on the show will be waiting for you hmm? to give me. Please, I please. Would. So, Woman, so, let me tell so you. Since, since we are being, being frugal, and I hmm. think we can agree on that, that hmm. we, should, we should not wait endlessly or wastelessly uh, spend money, why don't you invest in, in those planes where you buy a certain amount of hours well, that's in a year? that's not practical in India. No? It's not practical. I have sure, you can find some people. So you can, you know, you're going to fly this many amount of hours in a year. So you just buy. I'm just trying to save some, save you some money here. Well, yeah, I'll take your advice. <laughs> so what attracts you to a man? What attracts me to a man? The first thing that attracts me is definitely a sense of humor and a personality. If we're talking about the the superficial things, because you have to get to know a person before you get to the deeper things. So on the surface, I think definitely um, a sense of humor. And a, a person who has charm, a person who uh, who can make you laugh. There's nothing. There's nothing to beat a person who can make you laugh. And no, one that's who can the be strongest. Uh, that's the strongest weapon a man can have. And who can be chivalrous? Who can be chivalrous? Now these are all the, the these are all the qualities that that come in a little later. So the, then the qualities that come in later is I think kindness um, is a person who has respect for themselves and for others, and um, a person who's trustworthy. And a person who knows themselves, someone who knows themselves is a very, very important, important quality. Something we, I think, um, we don't value enough. What do you think of the dilemma that, you know, women are the fairer sex? Women, I mean, if I go out, I have, as a man, I must open the door for the woman. At the same time, equality of women, feminism. Sorry, How do you react to this? I think it's contradictory in a way. A lady is a lady is a lady, never forget. And she really can never be dead in this world of but how do you react to the fact that women want equal rights at the same time they want men to be chivalrous, they want their daughter to be open? Women want equal rights and they want to be treated equally, but that, that doesn't mean a woman is saying, I want to be a man. A man is still a man and a man still has things and a man still has a position which can never be replaced by a woman and vice versa. But that doesn't mean either or should be treated any less or less equal. Equal rights, to me, doesn't mean that they are fighting to be the same gender or to be this. I mean, there's a man has a role and a woman has a role in, in life, and certain things cannot be changed. Um, but I think the main, the main struggle which you're referring to, or the main struggle which you know, we see all around, is, is respect. Respect and equality in the workplace especially. I think that is something which is important because there's no reason there's no other reason for it. A woman it. should not be taken for granted. A woman should not be taken for granted. But one thing is there, you know, the hand that rocks the cradle rules the world. So a mother is a mother is a mother. You know, the power that a mother has, I think nobody can have. What's your favorite film of all time? Um, I think my favorite film of, of, of all time is Gone with the Wind because I just think it's such a classical, beautiful, romantic You like the star? Nature. You like the hero? Yes. I also think Clark Gable is the all-time movie star. And who's your favorite star of all time? Hmm. I, I would say also Clark Gable, maybe. Who? Clark Gable. Clark Gable. If, if we're talking about American actors, and if we're talking about in our industry, then I would say Amit, Amitji. And who's that one dream director you would like to work for, work with? Um, if I had to pick one, I would say. Um, let me not let me not say it frivolously because I, I I've worked with a lot of people who I wanted to. Mm. Maybe Raju Hirani? Raju Hirani, really? Mm. I was wanting to make sure that it wasn't just because, you know? I think you know? chosen well. No. And he's such a fine human. Yes, yeah. I think that's also, that also factors into what it. What is your dream role? Dream role would be any movie which every person in the cinema hall is crying. Any movie that can evoke that. To be able to evoke emotion, I think, is just the, that's the greatest feeling. That's, the, that's, you know, that's, that's a good reason to wake up But tears is not the only emotion, Katrina. Even happiness is an emotion. But I've done lots of movies which have made people laugh. I've done a lot of them. And I think that a lot of them have been, even today when I see Welcome on TV, like people can say, oh, it's, it's what they call, a just, it's just a commercial film. You know, in, in our industry, that's how they talk about it. But I remember how much people were laughing at the film. So I've been part of films that I know have brought people joy, have brought people laughter, have brought people thrills. Um, and uh, I think I think emotion is a nice. Katrina, how important is money to you? Money, wealth. I think satisfaction is the most important thing. Happiness, peace of mind, and love. I think these would be the most important things to me. Financial security only factors in I think when I see people who struggle for the lack of it. 
Um, that's only when you realize how lucky or how privileged or how, or how much it can matter. I think that's when I, I, I notice or even you know, become aware uh, about, about finances in life. When you see the people who struggle for the lack of it, those can be painful moments because that, then that's really sad. But as long as you're comfortable or you're in a, in a you know, financially stable position, then I think it's all the other things in life that matter more. And what does happiness and peace of mind mean to men? <laughs> what is a part to it? That is the <laughs> that is the question for us all. And if we if I have that answer, then I have the answer. You have the answer. So let so that, let me tell you um, what I think may be one of the ways to the answer, and then you have to tell me the answer because this this is one thing I would definitely need to take away from you. Um, peace of mind. Um, what is it? There's a famous saying that says, you're never alone. You will never be lonely if you like the person you're alone with. So I think that no one, nobody can really have peace of mind or happiness unless they are completely at ease and comfortable with themselves. And that sounds very easy, but I think it's a lot harder said than done because I think the world is so fast paced and people are moving at such a fast, a fast rate and things, especially in our industry. And as I, I think it also is, in your industry as well, there's so much and so many things moving so fast around you. You rarely have to see or be confronted with who you actually are. And I think those are those are the the moments in life where, if you can if you can be happy and comfortable with yourself, I think then you're going to attract the right people who will truly love you. And if you are truly loved, then I think you're happy. What I've learned in life is that happiness is a state of mind. It's not permanent, it's, it's very, transitory, it's, yes. it comes, it I goes. I completely agree with that also. And peace of mind is more permanent. But I think the source of happiness and peace of mind is contentment. We have to be contented with what we have. Yes. But we all doesn't mean we don't strive for better. Mm. But we don't use the wrong means. We mm. aspire but we don't envy. I don't think that happiness can come through relationships. Happiness is something which is very individualistic. Yes and very peculiar to an individual. And I have found individuals who have, you know, who are earning 10,000 rupees a month, but they're so happy. Mm. I find they're happier than me because they're contented with what they have. So I think the source of happiness lies there. And, but we should aspire. If we don't aspire, then we'll become, become a sadhu. So, that, so it's about finding the balance, balance, which I guess also is the secret Absolutely. of life. You have to have the balance between aspiration, between being driven, between being motivated and being content, right. not being discontent, because also a great factor in driving yourself and in motivation is discontentment, because that drives you to perfection or to strive. And also you. I realize that no number one is permanent in life. That is true. Not the richest man in the world, not the best actor in the world, not the best actor in the world, not the best movie in the world. So you must realize that all this success and all this wealth is all, is all transitory. You know, all adjectives are, tra are transient and temporary. They are. Wealth, success, happiness, sorrow, taste. I experienced the greatest joy in my life when maybe 13 years old, 13 years earlier, after 17 years of marriage, at the age of 43, my princess was born. And I have never experienced greater joy in life, meeting the most beautiful woman, having the largest number of rings, you know, you know, making most money in the stock market than meeting my children. So I think you have to experience it to live it. And then you realize what your parents are and what they sacrifice for you. Then you realize in life there are only really two gods, which are your parents. So I think children is, and I'm sure, Rekha is very hopeful they look after us. I said, after the age of 19, I have no hopes. <laughs> They're going to be too busy. She with her boyfriends, they with their girlfriends. <laughs> so, but, uh, I mean, it is the biggest joy of life to me. I think, like you said, it's, it's something you're only going to know that, um, that magic or that experience when you experience yes. it. I, li like you said, it's that moment which changed. So the moment either a man Don't has, has a child or Don't a woman has much. a child. <laughs> Uh, like like you said, what was what was it you said that everything in life is um, everything Trans everything in life has its own path and so, it's transient and temporary. Yeah. But what I feel, Katrina, after meeting and conversing with you, you're a wise woman with wisdom, wisdom, <laughs> and wisdom and intelligence. <laughs> Whatever you, have, you say, you take every decision with consideration. So whenever I have, whenever you decide, 
take my point of view. Yes. And my experience. <laughs> I, I, will, I will definitely do that. So I when think. are we going to see Katrina Kaif in Hollywood? Uh, that's, a, that's a question is, uh, as uh, when, when Hollywood comes, as I've always said this, I said this actually many years ago, if Tom Cruise comes knocking on my door with a film, I'm not going to say no. When I see all the Hollywood heroines, hmm. I think Indian heroines and you will outlook and outact all of them. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely happy here. But I've got one question for you. Um, are, there's rarely industri two industries which I think have one very common factor which is as similar as your industry and my industry, and that is the unpredictability of it. One day you can be here, and then in 24 hours, you can come crashing down by the success of your movie or by the success or failure. And I'm talking about on a superficial level. And the stock market is also like that. So I, I know what it's like when you have the biggest hit of all time. And I know what it's like when you have the not very good film. But what is it like? Has there ever been a moment for you which, where you have seen a terrible crash or a terrible low? Well, I've seen crashes and I've seen lows. But you know, I have acted in a manner in which at least now in my assessment, that even in the worst financial conditions, worst acts, I and Rekha are going to live the lifestyle we'll get. So money is not going to make any difference mm. to our lifestyles. See, I'm not afraid to make a mistake. No. I only want to make one which I can afford, so I can <laughs> live to make another one. So if I have made a mistake, a mm. market is reacted, of course I do feel better for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, but well, then what now? Naya gali naya dao. Crying is not going to help. I, hmm. I want to learn from that mistake. So there are two aspects. So you don't believe in punishing yourself? I, if I don't learn. Okay. I want to learn from every mistake. Hmm. So as I have planned things, that even the worst, as I have planned things, until now they have played, up, played out, they may not play out in the future. I'm aware of that. That the worst financial events do not affect me and my lifestyle personally. Hmm. And I can't go and tell my wife I have lost money. She'll say, I told you first only don't go to the stock market. <laughs> you know, I mean, I will tell you a story where I'll tell you later. So what goes wrong right in my office, Rakesh Junior Mala is responsible. So don't, you know, don't say you're not responsible, right? Accept it, learn from it and move on. And I like the unpredictability because I have to interest with life. Markets and women, both are unpredictable. <laughs> markets are like women and women are like markets. Always what? Always alarming, always uh, commanding, always mistress, <laughs> always uncertain, always volatile, right? And both are concerned with four-letter words, markets with risk and women with love. That's very true. <laughs> so it's a grave and uh, how do you take to success in things? I think success is, is something which I um, have never allowed to go to my head to a, beyond a certain point. I, I think I, I was fairly balanced about that. Um, but I think I take failure uh, harder than, I, I take it very personally. Uh, and that's something that you, one has to be caref careful of because um, there are some people who brush it off with such ease that it's almost as if you wonder like how they learned from it. But then I think there's some people who take it very heavily upon themselves. And I remember once talking to Amir about this and he, he actually said that he, he, that he, he almost took like a year to get over a film of his which, which didn't work, you know, and he, he took it so personally. So I, I, think, um, I think I need to work on that side of it, yeah. Just no, to not, to and to accept it that it's all part of life. I mean, Tata's may, Mr. Mystery may resign, my stocks may go down. Hmm. I'm not anything I've chosen well. So, I mean, it's part of life and your success and failure is not entirely yours. Yes. Others contribute so much to it. That's very true. So for all the uh, female viewers or for all the lady viewers who are watching, what would be your, the best financial advice you could give? Marry a rich man. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, you've just undone our whole interview. <laughs> Take two. I don't accept that advice. My advice, too, I mean, if you, you may not like the advice, my advice is, maybe because I have it, but money is not as important as people make it out. As? As important as people make it out. And I think women should be conscious of their rights. And in a marriage, in a relationship, mm. there should not be your money and my money. Mm. There has to be our money. But still, if, if we see, okay, l let's say for all single girls who are, let's say, 
uh, working or in college or studying. Is there one bit of advice you would give? See, Katrina, I don't want to be a put on. Hmm. So I say, take professional advice and advice. Hmm. You know, if I have a fever, hmm. I take a crocine, but my wife calls the doctor, my mother calls the hmm. doctor. So similarly, investing is not something which hmm. is which a woman or even a pan a doctor or a lawyer or a hmm. child or you know can really or a internet specialist can really understand. Hmm. So take professional advice, plan, right? Don't be a spendthrift, don't be a confused, draw hmm. a balance, and marry a rich man is the ultimate. <laughs> I cannot believe after all the spiritual wisdom advice, that's what you have, you, you are advising. That is, that is just, a, no, but you know, what is it that I can say? And one advice I'll give to every young Indian. The most difficult thing in India, urban India is housing. Hmm. So the first thing you should do is try and buy a house. That we, of course, that now creates innovation because you have to shift jobs, then you can't, you know, uh, you can't sell houses and... But that is a great sense of security. And please, although I am a shareholder in Tanish, jewelry should be a last investment. I know a diamond is a woman's best friend, right? Not with her money when a man buys it. <laughs> so, you know, you must not be focused only on investing. What's your ultimate ambition and dream in life? My ultimate ambition and dream? I think when I find, when I have the answer to that question, then I'll have the contentment that we were discussing earlier. I, I don't, I'm not convinced that um, just being an actor it may be one of the most important things that I do in my lifetime but I'm not convinced that that is going to be the greatest ambition in my lifetime and um, I don't know what that is but I think life will show it to me eventually. So still searching for it. I'm searching good, for good. It. It's very good. good. Good you have a dynamic mind. <laughs> well it was lovely uh, talking to you Thank and it was lovely being lovely on your show. I hope you enjoyed it and you... I, I did. Thank I you very much. This was a, a lovely uh, pre-Diwali party and it was... Thank you for having me. It's great being here. Great. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.